Welcome to uh, Let's Play Lozenge in Hampshire, The Case of the Baronial Stiff. I'm Ba, this is Mike. So, uh, This is a game you can play online. Uh, it, for me, it hasn't worked in Google Chrome, which is why we're using Internet Explorer, as you can see. And we're just going to put in our names and we're going to get started. Let's see. So, um... All right, here we go. All right, I spy with my little eye something beginning with W. Window. How did you get that? I'm only going to narrate um, what it shows when I'm in the mood and I'm just kind of losing the mood. Uh, this game basically, it's as you can see, it's based on kind of a kind of like Sherlock Holmes type characters, but they're named Lozenge and Hampshire and. And we're, in a moment, we're going to take control and, and solve a mystery or attempt to, and it'll be good fun, won't it, Mike? Uh, yes, but uh, this Sherlock Holmes music we have playing seems overly dramatic for this uh, childish conversation you guys are having. That's right, yes. The, the next one, the next song we're going to play from Sherlock Holmes is going to hopefully be a little less, less dramatic. It'll be a better fit for these low-key moments that set the stage. So, I mean, I mean, I think these guys are a little old to be playing this stupid eye spy game anyway. Yeah, it's, it seems very childlike. Yeah, I mean, that would make more sense if there was, there was like a guy with a, you know, a, a, a little girl with a sidekick who was annoying and childish all the time, and the guy was trying to be serious, but she kept annoying him with childishness, but it was just two old dudes, it's kind of weird. It is a little weird. My guess is that this Hampshire character is inspired by the more idiotic Watson characters in Sherlock Holmes movies, as opposed to like Jude Law, who's like kind of a smart dude in the in the new movie. Well, you know, isn't the original Watson supposed to be more awesome and not the dumbass dunce guy? Yeah, the I think I think the movies take it a little bit too far by by emphasizing Watson's idiocy compared to Holmes' brilliance. I don't think that's what the character was intended to be. Well, he, 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 he wasn't an idiot in the movie, really. He was kind of badass. Yeah, and the it, oh yeah, I'm referring, of course, to the the uh, older movies when he, he's played by a, a chubbier, stupid guy, and the TV show. Mrs. Bunsen, I do wish you'd knock before coming in. We're very busy in here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Just wasting a bunch of time. Yeah, I forgot to pay attention to the game we're supposed to be playing here. Oh, okay, yeah. And surely they explain really important plot stuff. Yes, yes. Uh, those watching at home, make sure you pay attention. This is all very crucial. Thank you, Mrs. B. Well, good news, old chum. We have another murder to solve. That's right, we do. Hurrah. Post haste. Post haste indeed, that's right. Splendid, let's get going then. My thoughts exactly. Here I am. Maybe there's something over here I can click on. What's this? Nothing remotely interesting here. Sadness. Well, then why? It's my microscope. What about this? Is this really necessary? Can we just get to the murder? Oh, I think this is an item. It's a map. Very oh. handy. All right, good thing you found that map. So Let's click on him. May, shall we go then? You always want to click on Hampshire. He has some good tips. All right. Okay, could be amusing. All right, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. So, are, are we getting paid to do this? Or are we, is it, are we just amuse ourselves by investigating crimes for free? Mr. Lozenge, please <laughs> keep your hands off my ingredients. No, I'll touch them if I want to. Mrs. Bunsen. Mr. Lozenge. So polite. You're preparing something yummy. What's in that bowl there? There's been a murder. Yeah, let's just proceed to the murder. Okay. Let's hope we're not missing anything crucial. We're playing this game a bit blind because neither of us remember exactly how it goes. So if we... Uh, I've, I've never seen this game before. Yeah, he's no never seen it. Out. I've seen it a while ago, and it's been a while, so I don't remember exactly where everything's hidden. Um... Is that a cow? Well... <laughs> 
How is that not a cap? Uh, what primitive period is this? There's no freaking cars. No? It is. It is quite primitive. Let's get in this train here. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, they sh they should really have cars. Now where's Huntley Hall? Hey, oh look. Let's, let's look at the map. We got a map. I have no idea. That's right. Why don't you use that map you're always carrying? Okay. Not always carrying, is it? I just picked it up. Because it's a map of southern Australia. What? So why do you keep carrying it around? Uh, I have no idea. The plot thickens. Mystery is afoot. All right, so get out your iPhone and go to Google Maps. They probably don't have iPhones either. Okay, so let's see. Oh, sweet. Uh, and the Penny's worth like a buck, right? All right, so I can't use the map on Hampshire. That's progress. You can chuck the penny at him. Let's just wander around, I'm sure. Oh, it's a chicken. Let's click on it. Okay, so I got the chicken to jump on my head. Uh, Matt, Let's do it again. Uh, does that help us solve the murder? I would guess it does. So do I go? Yeah, go to the question the, marks. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a dude. It's Hello. A dude. He says shush. That's right, he does. Don't, Don't shush, shush me. me. Oh yes. <laughs> we agree on the course of action. Quiet. You'll scare it away. Scare what away? Oh yeah. I called it. Press it. The Lesser Spotted Grebe. What's a grebe? Oh, what did you want to say? I don't know. I kind of doubt this is going to be relevant to the bird. It's an extremely rare bird. Oh, really? Where is it? Maybe it's that bird that jumped on my head. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I, uh... Alright, let's finish this stupid <laughs> conversation. <laughs> No. We are. We've gone too far. We can't go back. This has to be leading somewhere important. Yes. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do this to us. Oh, by the way, this is. Uh, this game was invented, I believe, by James Evans. So all credit goes to him. I didn't like make this game or anything. I just think it's awesome. Okay, I'm. Fi I'm done with you. Uh, you you sure and your. It's awesome. I'm pretty sure. Don't you think it's awesome? No, I have my doubts at this point. <laughs> you can't badmouth the game as we're playing it. We have, to, we have to, you know, add to the hype. Is there a stick here? Oh, it's a big stick. And then there's yeah, this guy. Brilliant deduction. Looks as though this stick might have been used to bonk someone over the head. Really? Any of those print thingamajiggies? <laughs> Thingamies. No, it's too rough for prints. Just have like a base impression on it. Hey, look at this. There seems to be a, a tracks here. Yeah. Footprints. They get fainter as they go along. Yeah. What's this guy doing here? He must have been a person who turned into a ghost as he walked. Was producing his weight. It's quite possible. Chicken. All right, so we, we've got to find a way to catch that chicken. Oh, dear. Let's do that. I did see a chicken on the way here. That's right, I did. I bet you did, and I want it back. So I guess I have to catch this chicken, but it doesn't look like my inventory currently contains anything. Can you bash it with the stick? Can I go through the gate, please? Yeah. Alright, I think we'd better wrap up this, uh, this Let's Play, but join us for part two and we'll try to get to the bottom of the chicken, maybe visit the crime scene, unless of course this is the crime scene. And um, So bye for now, say bye Mike. Bye. Alright.